that you have Android Studio downloaded and working on your computer, we're going to create a Hello World app, install an APK file on our phone, and run it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up Android Studio. I've got it pinned to my taskbar here at the bottom of my screen, and I'm going to click on that and it's going to take quite a few minutes to get it to load because Android Studio is a large resource hog on my computer. By default, Android Studio will open to the last project I had open. Most likely you have a blank screen. Regardless, we're going to go to File, New, and click on New Project. And for this project, I'm going to call the application Hello World. And now Android Studio is asking what version of the Android operating system we want to use in our app. The more recent the version we use, the more devices that will be excluded, but we will be allowed to use more of the recent features. For now, we're going to just leave all this stuff alone. We're going to start with an empty activity, and we're going to call this the Hello activity. We're going to ask Android Studio to generate the layout files automatically. Once Android Studio is finished building the initial project, it's going to show you the main activity file, which in this case is called the Hello Activity. We're not going to do anything with this file right now, but we're going to click on this XML file over here. You can see that by default, Android Studio provides us with this text view box and with the words Hello World already included. We're going to just change this to High and we're going to go over to the design section right here. And it's going to show us a WYSIWYG screen of what the app is going to look like when it first loads. You can see that the title of the project, Hello World, all as a single word, is displayed in blue. And underneath here is the high world that is provided by default by the app. What we're going to do now is we're going to create an APK file with this simple app, and then we're going to download it and run it on our phone. I'm going to click on Build, APK, and that's going to set the Gradle build process off, and it's going to take several minutes for the build to complete. I'm going to pause this video while that happens. We're going to run this app two different ways. First, we're going to run it on the emulator by clicking this green Run button. It's asking me which device I want to use. I have a Galaxy Nexus device stored in my emulator, and I'm going to use that for this demonstration. And now that the emulator has finished loading, we can see that the high world is displayed now on the screen. We're now going to run the same app, except this time we're going to run the APK file on our phone. Recall that we had previously built the APK file. I'm just going to do it one more time. You can see that we're getting a message from Android Studio that it has finished building the APK file. By clicking on this blue Show in Explorer window, there are going to be two versions of the app created. One is unaligned. Uh, either one is going to be fine for us to download into the phone. I'll just take this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this file now and we're going to store it somewhere in the web where we have access to a link. Here I am in my virtual notebook. You can store the file here, or if you don't have a virtual notebook, you can store it anywhere on the web where you can get access to a link. So I'm going to click on one of these folders where I can store the file. And I'm just going to come down here where it says Add Files, and I'm going to add that file. Now the file has been uploaded into the web, and I'm going to get a link to it by right-clicking on this and copying the link address. We now need to create a barcode with that link, so we're going to use a free barcode creator called Kaiwa. We're going to paste that link and we're going to create a static link and we're going to hit generate. Now using a barcode scanner on our phone we're going to scan this barcode and then we're going to download and install the app. It's important that you understand that after the app has downloaded onto your phone you will still not be able to see it until you install the app. To install the app, click on the download link and the operating system should give you the option to install the app on your phone. 
Once installed, it will be sitting alongside your other apps. When you click on the app to open it, you should see the words Hi World displayed on your screen. Because the process to download an APK file and run it from the phone is so tedious, you might find as you work through the exercises in this course that using the emulator is a better option for debugging than actually getting it to run on the phone. Thank you.